Hi everyone, this is Donna from Hollywood, California. It's not just paint, it's art by Donna. And staying in step with my mix and mold journey, this week I am on the Fluid Art Express as their special guest. And I want to thank the most talented Christy from Creations by Christy and inspiring Venom Fluid Art, AKA Darren, AKA Wombat. Let's follow the creative journey on the Express today, starting with Tazlima Maya Art, followed by me, next over to Venom Fluid Art, then Creations by Christy, then there's Shandy Fluid Art, followed by Bubbles, and then Hippy Dippy Paints a Man, cup. which is Tony and Cat. Please use the playlist in my description to follow along. And four tablespoons of water. I'm gonna put my water in here and measure it out. And here's my tablespoon. That's my four tablespoons of water. And we're going to get right to mixing here. And what are we going to be doing today? We are going to be doing a small tray. I'm really excited about doing this tray today. And I'm going to be mixing with my little whisk here. And this is the tray. I'm going to get everything ready here. And I'm going to be doing this in a light. In fact, I want to even get this ready. I'm going to be doing it in a purple pigment. And I'm going to add a little bit of this little piggy in there too. Put three drops of my purple pigment. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of enchantment in there too. So I'm not even too sure how that is going to be working out. But we're going to try our best. And we're going to mix this right up. And as you can see... This mixes really fast. If you use the whisk, um, it's much better than just using a, um, a regular stir stick. See how fast that mixed up? And that is all ready mixed. And this is um, very watery. It is, and I'm going to put that right here. mixes with the uh, with the piggy and as I said I really wanted to uh, have a marbling effect so I'm not going to mix that too much in the tray. Let's put a little more now. And that seems 
to work out pretty well. Looks really cool. All right, put that aside. And I am going to go around with my little brush here to see if there's any bubbles. Swirlies. As a young girl, it feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. I don't we see any bubbles. Um, that's why I'm not really tapping, but I just tapped it a little bit just in case. But I'm not seeing any bubbles. I did go around with the uh, with the brush. Just trying a little experiment here. Some of that pigment in. Take me back. I'm going around and just pushing it down into the uh, side. And I'm just curious to see what effect, if any, I get by doing this. No mistake ever kept me late. Okay. So this is nice and cool, and it is demolded. I'm going to demold now, and this should be really easy. And look how easy that did. That came out very one, two, three. And oh, how interesting is that? Sorry I was out of frame. I had this purple fairy in my hand. It's a sticker and I was trying to get it uh, separated and I finally did. And now I'm sticking it down on the uh, on the tray here. Look how pretty that's going to be. myself um, using this little piggy I made these quite a while ago and I'm gonna put some around the edge so after I put this fairy down I was thinking do you believe in fairies do you remember a movie from your childhood where they asked you to clap if you believed in fairies. Oh, please, please believe. I'm going to be using my Yeehoo this time. UV resin. Clap, don't let me die, clap. Putting a little bit of You're So Fine Diamond Clear highlight into that to make this a little bit more shiny. back in and use up some more of this uh, UV resin
looking good tonight I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down It's what you do Wheels in motion. I'm going crazy for you. I feel like the ocean. I'd like to take a moment to thank all members, uh, the Traveling Tramps, Dave and Kathy, Lena Park Art, and Art by Sparkle. These are amazing creators and friends. Be sure to give them a visit. And if you're not subscribed, take a moment to watch one or two of their videos you'll wonder why haven't I been here before hey, I'm going to put on my UV light and I think three minutes will do that okay I think I do need to put this up on the rack to uh, to let this air dry for 48 hours I'm sorry, I just was not satisfied here. So, bear with me. Come along for the extra ride here. Okay, I am going to try one more thing because it wouldn't work before when I did try it. But it is working now on top of the UV resin. So, I am trying, and it is going to work, rub-ons. And I'm putting a few of these beautiful words onto this. So, I put the word hope, and I'm going to put go with your heart. And if you've never used a rub-on before, they are really easy to use. Just rubbing on. So there we go. Go with your heart. Collector. Discover. Look at that. Look how beautiful. As you can see, I got carried away. And you'll see all the words that I put in here. I was just so I was so excited that it worked. Um but you'll get a chance to see all those words. And if you decide you don't like something, you can scratch it right off. Uh, it comes off. So this was my fun with rub-ons today. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, one final, final, final thing. I'm going to use my chrome marker. Um, and I'm going to go around the edge here with my chrome marker. As one final embellishment yeah. so this has been a little bit of a crazy ride today this is my second video the first one I had a lot of trouble with um, and I decided I would try something different and I do hope that you enjoy what you've seen here today and I do hope you learn something new so here I'm zooming in or zooming out with a close-up of this beautiful piece that I finally, finally finished. And I'm really happy with it now. Um, it still needs to cure 
a little more and then I will give it a final coat of, uh, of resin just a very thin coat on top and then it'll be ready to go to its forever home to the winner of the contest I just used a little of the purple pigment and the enchantment this little piggy I used a mix to mold I used a little UV resin I will be sealing this up with the Tri Art Blast and as I said I will give it a light coat of regular resin to hold in the rub on. This is Donna from Hollywood, California. Take me out to Trying something new to mix to mold. I do hope that Michaels. you'll subscribe and you'll subscribe to all my friends. Fluid Art Express. Look down in my description below. You will find the playlist and please following me is uh, Venom Fluid Art and that's Darren aka Wombat. You won't want to miss what he's got and if you missed Taslima Maya Art, she was before me. It's not just paint, it's art by Donna. Signing off with love, light, peace, harmony, and oneness. Till next time.